Okay, to complete our series of three lectures on particle equilibrium, we're going to look at a three-dimensional problem. So in this problem, we have a crate, which is suspended by a cable from point A. Point A is actually a ring here in space. It's connected back to a point on a wall by cable AB, to a point on a wall by cable AC, and to a point on another wall by cable AD. So the points B, C, and D are all fixed at a wall. I just haven't drawn them there, here, okay? So um, the problem actually specifies a right-handed coordinate system, which is what we would want anyways. So this is the X, Y, and Z direction. And it says that None of these cables, so AD, AC, AB, or the cable that's actually holding up the crate from the center ring, can have a force or a tension that exceeds 3 kilonewtons. So let's talk about that first. The tension in the cable is equal to the force it exerts on each point. So if I talk about the tension in a cable, what it's saying is what force is the cable pulling back with, okay? And it says if none of the cables can withstand a force greater than 3 kilonewtons, so the maximum force is 3 kilonewtons, what is the maximum mass of the crate that can be supported? So the way we're going to work this problem is just as we did for the two-dimensional case. Step number one is to draw a free body diagram. So here's our free body diagram. Here's our point. Okay. And I'm going to draw a free body diagram for point A, right? That's the point that most of the cables are connected to. So it seems to me that that'd be a good place to start. We also need to put our axes in. So let me use a different color for that. So here's our Z axis. Here's our Y axis. Here's our X axis. We also need to put in all of these forces, right? So let's use red for our forces. So there's a cable here, so there must be a force in that direction. There's a cable here, there has to be a force in that direction. There's a cable here, there has to be a force in that direction. And if we go over and up one, we'll see that there is a force in this direction, and that line of action goes up to this point. So this is one meter, this distance is two meters, this distance is three meters. So these dotted lines here are kind of to give you an indication of where the corner, where this point D is in relation to this point. So you go minus two meters in the X direction, positive two meters in the Y direction, and up one meter in the D direction. So it actually is giving you the coordinates of this point D. Okay. So the other thing we have to do is label these. So let's label them in something that will help us keep track. So we'll call this force C because it points in the C direction. This force we'll call force B because it force points in the B direction. B is in boy. This would be force D as in dog because it points in the D direction. And um, I'm going to write that this is the weight of the crate. Tension in this cable is actually just equal to the weight of the crate. And that's good for us because that's one of the things that we're looking for. The next step, once we have our, oh, I almost forgot. This is the y direction, x direction, and z direction. So this is our free body diagram. Of course, when you do this on homework, you're going to have a straight edge and look a little neater than that. Step two is equations of equilibrium. So we classify this broadly as step one, get a free body diagram. There's lots of sub-steps involved in that. Step two is equations of equilibrium. So it's a three-dimensional system. So we will have three equations of equilibrium. Some of forces in the x direction. So here's the x direction. I have FB. I have minus FD, which is the magnitude of this force. But I need only the component in the x direction. So I have to write this as, again, the force is equivalent to the magnitude of the force times the unit vector in the direction of the force. So I can determine a unit vector in the direction of this force and then take just the x component, right? So it's um, 2 in the x direction, 2 in the y direction, 1 in the z direction divided by the magnitude of that distance, right? So it's 2 in the x direction, 
It's the only part we care about. Divided by the magnitude, 2 squared, 2 squared plus 1 squared. So again, this is really u of f, where, oh, let's fix it so it's a little neater, plus, minus, right? So this is in the minus x direction. This is the total magnitude that describes this position vector, which is the same direction that we have for um, the vector f d. Okay? Nonetheless, that has to be equal to 0. All right? This is a square root of 9, so this is 2 ninths, or minus 2 ninths. So what does this mean? This means that um, f b equals 2 ninths f d. That means that f d is greater than f b. We can do the same thing with the sum of forces in the y direction. I'll be a little quicker this time. I have minus f c and I have plus f d. Now in the y direction I have the same thing. I have 2 in the y direction divided by the magnitude, which we've already determined is 9, equal to 0. That means that f c equals f d times 2 ninths. That means that f d is greater than f c, right? Lastly, we have another equation, which is f z, or the sum of the forces, excuse me, in the z direction. So we have minus w c, right? That's in the minus z direction, plus, now it's 1 ninth f d equals 0. This tells us that 1 ninth f d equals w c. That tells us that f d is greater than w c, right? So if we think about it, if we knew what f d was in this equation, we could solve for w c, which is what we're looking for, or part of what we're looking for, right? So now that we have all those equations and the free body diagram written down, we actually don't need the problem anymore. Other than this concept that the tension, maximum tension, is 3 kilonewtons. Okay? So the rope that has the maximum tension is 3 kilonewtons. We see that FD is the rope that's bigger. So this tells us that FD equals 3 kilonewtons. That tells us that WC equals one third of a kilonewton and the mass of the crate is WC for 9.81 meters per second squared so we could say that the mass of the crate is one third 10 to the third newtons divided by 9.81 meters per second squared. 